Hey? Closed when wet, we can't go. Holy crap. Let's go. No, we should go to Burke and stay at the Airbnb. What? Traction. Apparently it's three kilometers. Got a bus back. There he is. How awesome is this? Yeah, clothes went wet. <laughs> quick train check yeah it's, pre it's pretty hard soil but I reckon this will turn into mud real quick this might be a bit challenging to come out tomorrow this is pretty damn incredible this road is amazing this feels great I was caught a 50 50 choking with Rob yeah I knew he was I knew he was gonna commit to this because one he loves camping and two yeah we've, we've committed if, if he if he agreed to go to go to Burke and say that I would I would, I would have agreed as well. <laughs> that was more like a 50-50 card. See how that went. Oh, this stuff's not that bad. It's just dropped in brightness, man. I can't put them. Oh, holy crap. You see that? <laughs> I love this stuff, man. I love it so much. Wow, it is about to piss, man. 18 and a half canes? What? Do you see that? Mate, I saw that. Whoa. Mate, oh, I'm not happy. What's that? 18 and a half Ks. Bruv, this is fine right now. I'm okay with this. If this soaked tomorrow morning. Oh, that's good. One last ditch attempt to try to get him to go to Brook didn't work. Uh, I just hope we know what we're getting ourselves into here. 18 and a half Ks on this trash. Huh. Gnarly! Gnarly! And really in this kind of a scenario, I don't want Rob, Rob to gap me. Rob! I don't know what you guys are seeing on the camera right now, but I sure as hell can't see shit. And there's more fucking lightning. This is like, what do we do? Riding in a storm, man. Crap. I thought we'd be struck by lightning. This is where me and Rob are different, man. It's where we're different. He, he froths. He loves this stuff. There's dirt, you know, the whole outdoorsy, yeah, let's send it type deal. Nah, man. Not me. Like, I like it. I'm cool with it. If I was in a Jeep, I'd be laughing. If I had a tent on top of my Jeep, no problem. Mate, we're going into this shit. I'm going to set up a tent. I'm going to unpack. No, not my style. And what's not my style as well is we've never been here. We don't know if this road uh, gets any better or worse. Right now, I'm happy with the conditions. I'll, I'll, I'll take this all day. Far out, there's more lightning, man. I'm not, I'm not happy about this. I feel like after today, we've had it all. We've had rain, we've had mud, we've had dust, we've had sand. Yeah, it's just low visibility and it's actually raining pretty damn gnarly isn't this just what it's all about there like you don't want to get out in the open and you don't want to be near trees because if the lightning hits the tree shivers man then the tree explodes explodes and the bark acts as shrapnel and just literally you know need i say more ah Oh god, it's getting heavy. The water's really, really thick. Where's Nick? I'm riding this with no glasses right now. I'm not a fan of riding with no glasses. My vision isn't really the best, but the visor down in this is gonna be absolutely zero help to me at all. Oh, far out, it's raining even more. Me. If this is all muddy tomorrow, we can't get out. Oh, I'm gonna have a stern. Oh, you fucking corrugation. I'm just tripping the rear tire back out. Can't catch any fucking traction. This is some brutal shit. The fucking sign literally says don't use in wet conditions. And what the fuck are we doing? We're going in wet conditions. I really hope this is just a small cell and this shit dries out to tomorrow, or we're gonna have a rough start we're just this is not fucking fun at all i'm not down for this man rob stopped up ahead here let me see what the, let's go far out mate this is not a good idea what do you want to do 
Bruv, I'm just telling you right now, I'm, I'm, I get it, This is, but I don't know what this road is like. If this cell passes in an hour, or if this goes all night, bro, we could be stuck here tomorrow. Hey, no, nah, it's, it's a small boy. It's just a storm. But yeah, I know, but I don't know what this road's like, bro. If this shit turns into mud real quick, we might not even get out of here tomorrow, bro. Oh, I reckon we'll get out easy. We fucking got another 15k to go. Yeah. But like you can see it's turning to clay beneath our own feet. Yeah, it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with it. It's up to you, man. Huh? Like, where do you want to go otherwise? No, I'm just saying, like, we could put ourselves in some trouble tomorrow. Holy that, bro, and I don't like that on bikes. But, like, you can't escape it. We go back, we're still going to get hit by it. <laughs> Your call, bro. I don't like the situation. Your call. Alright. I'm, I'm down for it. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever, let's do it. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't wear my glasses. Right. I can't see shit. Yeah, no, I'm the same. <laughs> Why do you want to chill out for a bit? Well, what's the point? Just sit here and get soaked. Well, it's either we go that way, get soaked, go that way, get soaked, or stay here and get soaked. So like, either way, we're in a storm. So, you want to keep going? Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, oh, I'm not a fan of this. That shit looks super slippery. Like these roller conditions are still kind of semi-bearable, so... Ah! The switch, man, I'm not a... Oh, ah. And that's just what it is, that's just what you guys have to be aware of when you do kind of dual camping trips or you go on a ride with whoever it is, whether it's 100k or 4.5 thousand k is... It's, it's a group decision. Rob's taking the lead on this one, man. That's cool, like I'll back him with it. But... Uh, my personal opinion right now, I turn around and just go right to the hotel. I find, like, like, it's supposed to be a vacation, you know, I find, I find zero enjoyment in this. Rob fucking loves it. Far out, I do not like this. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not happy with this right now, man. I, uh, yeah. Like, ah, uh, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it, and who knows how long is this rain going to go for. Uh, and I, I don't think this road's gonna dry for tomorrow. It's it's literally been f***ing dry here for a week, and that's why it's fine. Now the shit is just look at my f***ing shoes. Nah, I'm. And sometimes you gotta c take control. You just gotta you gotta speak your voice, and you don't want to get yourself caught out of water with your with your riding mate. I'm telling Rob, I want to turn around. I don't want to do this. Nah, man, I'm not pussy now. This is this doesn't make sense. Look at my f***ing shoes. Nah, nah, man, I don't want to do this. I want to turn around. Look in the middle. It's only been 10 minutes. Look at that. That's not going to be good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not comfortable riding this, man. Man, if Rob, oh, Rob sorry, bro, but uh, I got to pull the pin on this. I'm, I'm not cool with this. Yeah, bro, I don't want to do this. Bro, like, look at my fucking shoes. Bro, look at this, bro. This is 10 minutes. Nah, I'm just saying. Hail? Let's just head out, bro. Rob said, oh, shit, look at this. It is, too. Look at that. It's starting to hail. Far it. See, there it is, you know? You just gotta communicate with your partner. If you don't feel like it's right, you just gotta talk and talk it out. And that's what I think me and Rob are really good at, is that we can we can make mature decisions and put our big, big egos aside, you know what I mean? All right. We'll see how we go, guys. Oh, 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 boots down. Wow, wow, oh, wow. When it says, don't use road when wet, <laughs> Rob's gonna look back on this one. Oh, this shit's a little bit more sturdy. I reckon if we rip this a bit, this should be able to get us because it's not. The corrugations haven't gone too damp yet. This is unreal. This is unreal. Holy shit, I almost lost the fucking bike there. I'm just, I'm literally just gonna crawl this thing. But it's it's a double-edged sword. Far out. This is... Ah. Literally, one thing Australia does really well is road signs. Trust the trust the road signs here, mate. If the thing says when it's when it's wet, do not take the road, and it's and it's red, and red usually means danger. Don't take it, cause right now we're in a world of fucking shit. I've got Rob behind me too. I'm gonna get Rob ahead of me. Yeah, this shit's soaking on my rear wheel. My rear wheel is just sagging in here. I kind of want to get out of this little rut that I'm in. If you guys can see that, I want to get onto some more sturdy territory 
So we made it about 6k. We're at 8 right now. Looks like there's another 4 back to the road. I want to get out of Rob's track. Oh no! Rob went down. Rob went down. Rob went down. I'm gonna go help him. You're right, mate. You good, bro? Yo, bro, you good? Good. He's okay. Oh, far out. This is gonna sink. I gotta be. I gotta be quick on this. All right, get up there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be. Push ready. Three, two, one. You right? Barkbuster ate it. Ate it. Ooh, steady boy flopping all. Huh? Ah, oh, yes, I burned my pipe. Far out. Oh, let's keep. We gotta keep chugging. This is not gonna get any better. What happened? Just let go. Just let go. Just ate it. He took you out. Steady light, take a beating, but it's still working far out. His uh, his sump car is just full of red mud. Man, he's just digging it out. We gotta hit a car wash ASAP. We don't want to let any of this shiz dry up. <laughs> charge, baby, charge! My man, I love you, Rob, man. He's the man. Oh, wow, it's slippery. Mate. Oh, look at my handlebars all over the fucking place. Far out. Oof. This shit is like ice. Oh, I'm taking a photo of Rob in front of that wet road sign. Do not enter with wet sign. Worst riding is scared riding, and right now I'm scared riding. Because my fucking steering is all over the fucking place. Yeah, this, this, uh, this dry patch, how they've built it is our saving grace out of here. This is gonna feel like forever now. When it looks like it's dry, far out, it's like quicksand. I'm just constantly checking with my heels here, the different conditions, because the way these build these roads, far out, yeah, that sh dry shit is brutal. I really wanna make my way up, up on the top there on the wet stuff. Really gotta dump the clutch here. Far out. Look at that, it's just bogging up. The thing is, we gotta be teamwork here. I can't get too ahead of Rob in case he stacks it again. And it is pouring down on us now. Far out, give us a break, mate. We could have been in, we could have been in Burke. We could have been in Burke. I mean, we could have been in a pool by now with, with neon lights laughing at the rain. But no. Oh wow. Oh wow. All right, Osa. All right, Osa. Your turn. Osa, your turn. Is everything dry in the dry packs? Who knows? Osa, your, your name has been drawn. Oh, far out. My boots are soaked. Soaked. Wow, it's getting worse. This is not getting any better. If you ride in the places where there's puddles, it doesn't pull you yet. What it does is it gets you soaked because you can kind of see from what I'm seeing firsthand here is it looks like it's a car track. So I feel like it's a signal for anyone who got themselves in a situation like we did right now to use this as your desired path to get out. Because right now I'm doing about 30 Ks and I'm having a bit, a, bit, a bit of confidence in this. Far out, they just got all my pants. Oh, wow. Oh, your senses are peaking right now. Absolute zero care for wetness. Zero care for anything. It's just full-fledged survival instincts right now. I understand, I'm gonna check in with Rob here. Never mind. no, nope, Rob's, Rob's confident in what he knows right now. I reckon Rob may have found the same trick I have. He's riding the edge. He seems like he's alright. I kind of want to get out of this in case this shit gets too deep. I reckon this is it. I reckon they've done the roads like this for that reason. Yeah, Rob, Rob has found that out as well. Oh, you guys, pop your popcorn. Pour another gin and tonic because we are going to be here for a while. 
Oh, it also says 10. It looks like we have another 1.5k. Uh, no, it says... Oh! Oh! Oh, this is why! This is why! Keep space between yourself and your riding partner. Keep space. Keep space. I'm gonna give Rob his space. That's my fault. That is my fault right there. Rob had a slip in traction. Just like I am right now. Rob had a slip in traction. And I was... I was a little bit too close for comfort there without my buffer zone. Um... And I almost paid the price. Rob almost ate it, almost went in the vacuum. I'm gonna power through this sand right here. Um, but yeah, that's a big thing right now. This is a comfortable gap between myself and Rob. That's it, it's working as a team. You place everything aside. It doesn't matter that we're in this situation now. It matters how we work as a team to get out of it. You know, fight or flight type deal. The worst thing you could do right now as a riding partner uh, or as a partner in general, when you're working on a team with someone in a scenario like this with high stress, you got you gotta curb the whole I'm right factor. Like I told Rob, man, I don't know, look, it's raining. Road says, don't drive, maybe we should go to um, Burke. And I said it in a joking manner, I was 50-50. But that second time when I told him, yeah, man, I think we should really turn around here. You curb all that, you don't bring that up anymore. I might bring it up in banter just to get a photo of him in front of that damn sign as a lesson. But that's it, bro. It's me and Rob, we're bros for life now. So you just gotta keep moving forward. You gotta keep him positive. He took a spill. Oh, almost took a spill there too. You gotta make sure that you get to that finish line right now. You really gotta push through with it. Rob's going down. Rob's got. Rob's gone down. <laughs> I hate to laugh. I hate to laugh. I really hate to laugh. You good, bro? <laughs> I don't want to laugh. You good, bro? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> Huh? Oh, far right. All right, ready? Wait, let me get on your bar. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, drive through. I got front brake. Oh, quad lock just ate it also. <laughs> Let's get it up. Hold up. Unreal. I got your front brake. You got front brake. Hop on your bike. I got your bike. You have to ride out of this. I know. <laughs> we'll deal with it. Just get on the bike. We have to get out of this situation right now before it gets worse. Are you okay? Yeah. Body-wise, you're good. I got your saddle bag. Just try to power out of it, all right? Just focus right now. Just, bro, you're sinking right now. You're right. Okay, go. All right, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill, chill. All right. Did you break your gear lever? Is the gear lever broken? Are you stuck in gear though? Okay. Alright, you're gonna have to make it out of here in a second. You alright? You okay? It's alright, man. Don't worry about it, bro. We'll get out of this. We're about a, a kilometer away, all right? Wait. Give me a sec here. I'll put these straps away. Don't sag too much. Right. Clutch it. Focus. This is getting bad. First gear, 10Ks, both feet down. Just gonna crawl it out. The smallest thing here will take you down. situation here, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. <sighs> don't trust it again. We're not trusting this. Even though I know that this was a bit of road like this on our entrance. I'm not trusting it. I'm going to crawl at a 20. 
So why am I on the rod take the lead here? Because obviously he's gone down a few times. So I just want to make sure I don't get ahead of myself. Also, he does have technical issues right now. So that is going to play in a factor. But I need to shut up right now and focus. Very spicy. I'm gonna give Rob some space now because we're getting a bit close corners and I don't like it. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up! Get a dry part, get a dry part, yes. Come on, you can do this, bro! Don't give up! I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, well... Listen to the road sign, especially when it's about to bloody storm, hey? Look at this thing. Barkbuster, the steady lights, the number plate bracket, like which is all fine. And the bloody quad lock somehow. A quad lock. The bloody the gear lever, man. Far out. Right. I can't believe how quick they just break. The gear lever. So that's all internal. So that has to come off. Good times, eh? Spill your backyard, people. <laughs> Look at that. That's incredible. Alright, now we've got to <clears throat> make a secondary plan because we're just going to camp out down there. So now I've got to limp this back to Burke and then just. Yeah, do all this crap in the morning. Now we need a con. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> So now the plan is to take all the gear off, I'm going to take the lights off, engine cover needs to come off, and I need to look in, something's snapped in there. Now we're staying at this bloody weird place. I'm sure it's nice. 